this is Heidi Fernandez, your virtual assistant for today. In this video, I will show you how to automate Google Form response and Trello via software. When someone fills out your form, either your website, from your website, or from any other source that you have online, many times there will be a task associated with that. Don't create those tasks manually. You don't have to. Let automation handle that for you. In a matter of minutes, and even if you don't have knowledge in coding, Sapier will allow you to automatically send the information from your Google Forms into Trello. Let's get started! Explain what is Google Form, what is Trello, and what is Zapier. Okay. Google Form is uh, your way to collect and organize information. All you need is a Gmail account. Now, with this Trello, Trello is your visual tool for organizing your work. You can track all your projects at work using Trello. Zapier. Zapier allows uh, the end users to integrate any web application that is allowed within Zapier uh, to integrate with another tool. So it will automatically trigger an automation. If you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification. If you want new updates on entrepreneurship, small business strategy, social media, automation for your business, and digital marketing. First, we are going to create our Google Forms. So just go to googleform.com and go to Google Forms. Okay, we are going to create the personal. I've already created this. Um, uh, I have the I have here already created a uh, Google form. I named named it into test trail two, which will get name, email address, assigned person, and task details, and an option to upload. Okay. So, whatever you need from your client or from that particular form, uh, information that you require, um, you have to put it in here. So, our form is ready. We are now going to do the responses information. We have created already. We are going to put the responses into a spreadsheet and I've already created one in here. I've named it Trello Response to. So everything that will be put or um, details from this Google form will go to this spreadsheet. Okay, let's try it, try it out. So name would be tests. I have my test email in here, so it would be ID example. Now, please create F takeover. For example, your client is asking for a um, graphic design for their F takeover. And then here they have an option to uh, upload a file. So they can just simply up upload uh, images or any information that re you require in here. Okay? Okay, now we are going to view this response into our spreadsheet we created earlier.
we are going to check the response or the information we got from uh, our Google form. So the time stop is here, the date and the time, uh, the name, email address, assigned person, task details, and the uploaded file in here. So everything is good. Now our idea is for this information to go to Thrello. Okay, that is the idea of this automation. And it will be possible using Zapier. And we are going to do it now. We are going to do a new Zap. Okay. First, we're going to choose a Google Sheet. Okay, what Google Sheet? We have already created it is going to create a new spreadsheet row and then continue what spreadsheet or what email account or what google account so we're going to use this tests id at gmail.com we're going to continue choose a value we're going to choose Trello response to because we have created that particular spreadsheet for this Google form okay. and then here form response one and Let's just test the speaker. Okay. It will scrape automatically scrape this information from column A is the timestamp. Column B is the name. Email address is from column C. Assigned person is Heidi. This is the task details and this is the uh, uploaded file required for that particular um, task. Now we're going to continue. Integration of um, spreadsheet is done. Now we're going to create uh, a new app or we're going to create a zap on automation into your Trello. Okay, we just chosen Trello and then choose an action event. We're going to create a card and then continue what Trello card you're going to create uh, or integrate the account the Trello account if you will need to use another Trello account you have to put uh, or you have to click add a new account but I've already created one so Trello ID okay continue Choose Word, Trello, Google Form. Choose List, To Do. We're going to put that into a To Do card from that particular Trello. Name, what are we going to put? We're going to put the name and email address. The description. Is the, the description of the task so just click the option in here fast details fast details okay member just choose the member inside Trello so Heidi is the assigned person so put the name um, in there File attachment here. The attachment will be here. This one. This is the file uploaded by the uh, the client from the Google form. And that's it for now. Okay. Whatever you want to put or to customize your file card, just put all the necessary necessary information in there. And then continue. Okay. 
test. We can test them here. So this is the information it will get from the Google form. Let's check it out. So here. Okay. We have the name in here and the email address and the um, assigned person. The description is here. The task uh, description or the task detail. And then we have the attachment in here. Okay. All good. Now, the person that is in charge in here uh, for this particular example we are doing, we assigned it to Thess Heidi. So, Thess Heidi will automatically get that email and will start doing that fast um, using Trello as reference for information. There you go, good luck! Please leave this video a thumbs up. If you find the content helpful and leave a nice comment down below if you're feeling generous.